This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amon Stone Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play I Can Swing My Sword, a Minecraft song on the piano. Give you a preview before we start learning it. It goes like this. Let's get right into it. So melody and chords, that's the foundation, and afterwards you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns. Let's get right into it. So break it up to a few parts, it's easier to learn. So the first part, right hand starting on the E, middle C C I is just the E just above it. So we have E, 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 F sharp, G, G. That's it for the first part. Okay, we'll break up to four parts, it's easier to learn. Let's learn it again. So E, 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 F sharp, G, G. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, two chords, we have E minor, which is E, G, B. And then the second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. With these two chords in mind, so E minor followed by G major, the two hands together goes like this. So E and E minor together. G and G major together. That's it, let's learn it once again. So it goes together, together. That's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part, right hand continues. Similar sequence, but now G. Go G, 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 A, B, B. That's it for the right hand. Let's learn it again. So it goes G, 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 A, B, B. Whilst the left hand, we have two chords of G major, which is G, B, D, and second chord B minor, which is B, F sharp. These two chords in mind, so G major followed by B minor. The two hands together goes like this. So G and G major together. B and B minor together. That's it. Let's learn it again. So together. Together. That's it. Back to back. The two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Moving on. The third part is continuing another sequence. Starting on B. So B, 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 D, E, E. Alright, let's learn it once again. So it goes B, 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 D, E, E. That's it for the right hand. Left hand two chords are B minor, which is B, D, F sharp, and second chord E minor, which is E, G, B. With these two chords in mind, so B minor followed by E minor, the two hands together goes like this, so B and B minor together. E and E minor together. That's it. There you go. Let's learn it again. So together. Together. That's it. Back to back. The three parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand continues, three E's, F sharp, E, E. That's it for the fourth part for the right hand, let's learn it again, so it goes E, 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 F sharp, E, E. That's it for the right hand. Left hand we have E minor, twice, E, G, B, twice. Alright, so with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this, E and E minor together. together. Like that, there you go, let's learn it again, so together, together. That's it. So back to back, the four parts would be played like this. Repeat. You can also continue here. Etc. So you can keep going up and have fun, okay? So once you get the melody and chords all good, you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. Left hand, you can do like octave bass arpeggios. Rhythmic patterns. That kind of thing, okay? And right hand, you can harmonize on the chords to so play around. Yeah, play around and have fun. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this and that's pretty much it.
If you like how I teach in this video, how I break everything up step by step, part by part, you will most likely find another song that you'd like to learn by typing in your favorite song name followed by Amos Doll in the search bar because I have over 10,000 piano videos on YouTube. If you want to go further beyond into learning music theory, playing by ear and improvisation, you can learn from my piano courses on my website bestpianomethod.com linked in my description and bio. There you will also find my song request services where you can request any song of your choice for me to make into a cover, a lesson or sheet music. As for now, enjoy the rest of my content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and Facebook and see you all next time.